Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the Google account FRP for the Tab S2, uh, the model number T813. Okay, uh, the first thing you're going to do is downgrade the Tab to the stock firmware PKC, ending PKC, it's Android 6. So I already I'm already doing that. Uh, to do that you download the firmware and then you put the tab in download mode and then you load it on the AP slot in Odin and then you click start. That's easy and basic thing. Okay, so I'm ready flashing it, downgrading it. Okay, it's downgrade, it's complete. Now um, you're going to start up your um, tab until the welcome screen uh, so you know that the flash was good and working. And then you go to the C3X and then you select model number T. A13 and you plug the tab, you power off the tab and then you plug it again in download mode and that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing right now and just checking when the tab is set up is complete okay so um, it's almost up it's booting up I'm going to cut the video to save time okay so the tab is in download mode I'm going to plug it in now after the downgrade which will allow us to remove the Google account using C3X box. Okay, I plug it in. So here is the tab. You can see here in the modem in device manager. So you click reset FRP react EE button in C3X and now the FRP log is being removed. is raising now the FRP it will only take like one minute or less so it's almost complete okay the race was done and now the, the FRP removal is complete. So now you can see that the tab boots up and go to home screen. And that will be it. So that's all for today. Um, please subscribe, comment and like in our YouTube channel and we will we will upload new videos soon. And have a nice day. Bye.